Um, we were, uh, when we first got here uh, a couple weeks ago, we, we had a day of press in London. We went and did something at, uh, at BBC. And, and uh, as we left, Jim said to me, that's a really nice shirt. I said, thanks. He said, yeah, it's great. It looks I, good on you. Yeah, it looks really good on you. And I, 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 I have a shirt just like that. And I said, oh. Yeah, thanks. I was feeling pretty good about myself. And then I, we went our separate ways. We went to go do some walking around and stuff. And I was looking for some shoes. And at some point, I looked in the mirror and I thought, I don't remember buying this shirt. <laughs> and I thought, Jim told me it was a nice shirt. And he has one just like it. And Jim sent me an email and said, uh, this is my number. Uh, while we're here in the UK, if anybody needs to get a hold of me, it'll be on this number and not my regular cell number. So I emailed him back and said, no problem. I'll just be walking around in your shirt <laughs> if you need to reach me. But you know what? I walk around in possibly your old underwear. <laughs> I'm not bringing, you know, I'm not going to break it down. It's mine now. I'm never giving it back. You can also want it back. <laughs> if, at, at, at least, you know, if you were wearing one of mine, Jim would have said, Hey, nice anorak. <laughs> Whose underwear had the purple skid marks? <laughs> <laughs> That's a mystery. The mystery of Manchester. <laughs> That's a perfect intro to the song we're about to play. <laughs> It's not. It's totally not. Um, this is a song that, that we recorded uh, during um, the recording session for the last record, but it uh, it's not on the record, in fact. We thought we would play something uh, a little off the beaten path for you tonight. This is a song I wrote for my mom, and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 